guys, this is your friend Sarah Bukolade on Living Real with Sarah. Remember the last episode on the parenting series, we treated Parenting 101. This is Parenting 102, brand new. <laughs> Some people call it Sarah, but I don't want to go to that now. Let's go straight to today's business accepting your child, accepting that child that God has brought your way. To accept that child means to receive that child in our entirety. The gender, the characteristic traits, the flaws, the things that you don't really dig, you know, in that child, all of them are together packaged. And the child has been sent to you. One thing I want you to know as a parent is that every child, hmm, every child is a special package delicately put together by the creator and sent to this earth to be a blessing so you are privileged that that child has come through you and i expect you to know that every child needs to be accepted you know one thing i found out children know how you make them feel and they won't forget it in a long time now think about it some uncles that you knew some aunts that you knew, maybe or your parents that you, you know, growing up, some things they did to you, they still linger on. So this is an opportunity to do things right. Accepting your child has to do with you loving, nurturing, caring for a child wholeheartedly. If you have more than one of them, care for all of them very well. Appreciate all of them and let them know that they are appreciated. I know a man that had, you know, um, that have a child sometime and, she, and he said to me my child has put to bed my wife has put to bed and I was like oh and I was so excited and he now said to a baby girl I was speechless it wasn't someone I could speak to I could you know, talk to that time but I felt bad so a baby girl does that make her less than a child but you know many years down the line this girl happens to be the only child that this man has now. Can I tell you something? She's doing exceptionally well. She's taking care of him and the mother. I'm sure the man will be asking for forgiveness in his heart. So, what should we do? Accept every child that comes to you. Whether it's your biological child, your adopted child, or you're just a foster parent to that child, accept that child. Let the child have a sense of acceptance. There are so many people, they are adults, they are grown up now, but they lack self-confidence. We don't want to keep, you know, reproducing half-baked and, you know, unhappy, unhealthy people. Some people look healthy, but emotionally they are down. They are not fine at all. And we have a role to play. Do not segregate. Don't make a child feel lesser than, than he or she is. He is a bundle of blessing. You are privileged to be the one that that child has been sent to. And it is your duty to groom that child to know that he or she is a complete child. A child that grows up in an atmosphere of acceptance will do well, will thrive. Will be, you know, very free to express himself or herself and the best in them will easily come out. So that's a challenge to you as a parent. Accept that child that has been sent to you. If you have a child that you have, maybe you don't really have a liking for some things he or she does, please focus on the good ones and, you know, work with them. See them in their light and believe that the other things will fall in place. But please accept that child. If the child had a way of changing himself or herself, he would have done it. But she can't do that. But as a parent, you can help that child by first accepting the peculiarity individuality and uniqueness of that child till i come your way again on the next episode of this parenting series it's your friend sarah saying to you as a parent keep living real mm -hmm.